hello friends in this video i am going to show you uh, how to check an analog filter type in matlab okay that means suppose one circuit is given to you the, and it is asked that check what type of filter is uh, drawn in the circuit by matlab okay then how to solve that type of problems that means how to realize a analog an analog filter in matlab let us discuss so suppose this circuit is given i have taken a very simple circuit and you already know i hope so uh, because if you have my previous videos in previous theory videos then if you already know that this is nothing but one band pass filter okay but i will show you by matlab okay how to check that what type of filter okay so see here v input of t here v output of t and r c and l are in series we are taking the output across the r okay so the same procedure you follow as you follow in theory first you convert this circuit in its corresponding ac equivalent model and you will get v input of j omega then j omega l then 1 by j omega c and r then you should calculate the transfer function that is v output of j omega by v input of j omega which is nothing but if you simply apply voltage divider rule in this circuit you can easily get that is r by r plus j omega l plus 1 by j omega c right this expression you can easily derive now from here we can easily say that v output of j omega by v input of j omega after simplification of this expression you will get equal to j omega rc by minus of omega square lc plus j omega rc plus 1 okay let me denote the transfer function by g of j omega fine so what we are getting g of j omega equal to j omega rc by minus of omega square lc plus j omega rc plus 1 okay now you have to determine what type of filter is this one by matlab then how will you check simple just plot the magnitude of the transfer function for various values of frequency from there we can easily check because you know that if uh, uh, for omega equal to 0 and for omega equal to infinity for both this point if the magnitude of the transfer function is 0 that means that is band pass filter if magnitude at uh, omega equal to 0 and as well as at omega equal to infinity are not equal to 0 that means that will be band stop filter if magnitude of transfer function is constant throughout then obviously that is all pass filter if at omega equal to 0 there is some value for the magnitude of the transfer function and for omega equal to infinity if there is no value then obviously that is quite filter correct that is low pass filter and at omega equal to 0 if the magnitude of the transfer function is 0 and at omega equal to infinity if the magnitude of the transfer function contains some value then that will be high pass filter right these things you know now so our main intention is simply plot the magnitude of the transfer function with respect to various values of omega and we can get our result now how to get the plot see here omega is unknown r is unknown c is unknown l is unknown this much unknown we cannot plot so what you do suppose the values of r c and l is not given if it is given then put those values only and uh, simplify the transfer function if those are not given then just you write r equal to l equal to c equal to 1 and substitute that so that you can get the transfer function with respect to function of omega or frequency only this g of g omega equal to j omega by minus of omega square plus g omega plus 1 okay now we have to plot for various values of frequency now obviously frequency is continuous right here we will plot with respect to continuous frequency we are not dealing with this case right so obviously omega is as omega is going to be continuous so you have to have a good attention while writing the range of omega because for to plot the continuous graph you should give very small increment to plot the discrete graph give increment of one in between two successive frequencies or time but here you should give very small increment because we are we want to plot the continuous function and if you have studied already control system then you know that how to plot the magnitude of transfer function for various values of omega correct semi log paper right in semi log graph paper we plot so basically the syntax is uh, the function name is also similar semi log extra you have to add one x okay so semi log x first bracket omega comma absolute of g of j omega same like x comma y plot x comma y just into instead of plot you have to write semi log x instead of 
x plot x comma y instead of x here we are plotting with respect to omega so we have to give omega and here y is nothing but absolute or magnitude of the transfer function that is aps of g of j omega okay so let me directly go to matlab and let us see what type of filter is given in the question so first define omega range 0 colon 0 0.01 colon let me give uh thousand okay so why i am giving very small increment again tell me yes because we want to plot continuous graph now g equal to j star omega just simply write the transfer function by minus of omega square plus j star omega plus one correct or not no this is not correct why not correct see omega is an array or a vector so dot power two we have to give same similarly j omega is an array this the denominator is also an array so numerator is an array denominator is an array so you have to give dot divided by right these small small things you should keep in mind while writing matlab code now uh, what is the uh, function semi log semi log add one extra x just easily remembering purpose i am telling abs omega comma abs of g okay now let me give grid on so that if, if you want to take some points if you want to extract some points from the graph you can easily take now control a now click evaluate selection okay and see what type of filter we are getting yes correct this is nothing but band pass filter see at low frequencies the gain is mag a magnitude of transfer function or you can say gain is very less high frequency also gain is very less at a middle frequency this is coming as 10 to the power 0 it seems okay if this you consider as y axis see the gain is maximum and observe one thing what is semi log paper if you have not studied control system yet then you just take See, y axis is normal uh, as as usual or like normal graph paper itself but the x axis see the lines here x axis is like coming denser and then it is uh, coming distance apart then again it is coming uh, closer to each other that means this is increasing like log function okay so x axis is log y axis is normal that's why so so that why it is called semi log okay if y axis is also varies like log function and x axis also varies like log function then it will be termed as log paper log paper is also there okay so in control system you will be dealing with this semi log paper and you have to calculate lots of things like gain margin phase margin and blah blah okay so when you will study control system then you will understand it clearly so this is how from the transfer function itself you can clearly understand it okay this is band pass filter and from our theory discussion also you know well that for a series or LC circuit, if you take the output across the resistor, then that is nothing but what? Band pass filter. Okay. So, this is how you can check any filter type in MATLAB. This is how to check analog filters. And there is different way to make uh, digital filters in MATLAB. There, we will be dealing with Butterworth, JBSAFE. There are, these are two types. And uh, in Butterworth, there is again four types, low pass, high pass, band pass, band stop. And JBSAFE also four types, band pass, high pass, band stop, low pass. Okay. So while I will be discussing these things, it will be there in my digital signal processing playlist for MATLAB. You can check there. Okay. So if you want the theory discussion of this uh, RLC uh, band pass filter, you just check in the link in the description. And for your uh, helping purpose, I will post the same code in the description so that you can check easily. This is all for my this video. Thank you for watching.